There is no view of Atlanta quite like the one on top of Stone Mountain. You get up there, you can see the city, the sky, and for one Atlanta man, he saw limitless possibilities. All new tonight on 11 Alive, Caitlin Ross shares how his journey up the mountain changed his life. The shape of Stone Mountain gets Zach Cross every time. It's just such a gem in terms of the beauty, like the wildlife here, the flowers. But he had to grow to love the rocks and roots that make up its face. The first few times I started to come up the mountain, I definitely didn't see the beauty of the park at that point. I was really just struggling up the mountain. I was just having a really hard time. It's about one mile, and I think it took me about 75 to 80 minutes. Three years later, he makes the climb in under 20 minutes. The lost time, a testament to what he lost on the mountain. Losing weight has been, uh, this has been a huge part of the journey for sure. Just pouring a lot of blood, sweat, and tears onto this mountain. His first turn on the trail, a turning point in his life. In March of 2020, I was about 400 pounds, maybe 380. He set out to climb Stone Mountain for the first time in May of 2020 and has hiked its trails nearly every day since. It's going to suck for the first few months. It absolutely sucked, and it's, it's not easy. But there is like a, there's a, there's a, a light on the horizon. Those trails led Zach out of a deep depression. Flowers are blooming. It's getting really, really beautiful. Those steps shedding 200 pounds. It can get pretty dicey at the top there. It's pretty much straight up, really steep, but that's the best part of the workout. You kind of lay it all on the line there at the end. On the top of Stone Mountain, he decided to lay it on the line again. The Appalachian Trail is the granddaddy of all trails. Losing 200 pounds gave Zach the confidence to take on the Appalachian Trail, 2,200 miles. The mental aspect of five months on the trail, living in a tent in the freezing rain, cold, that's gonna be what's really tough. Overcoming everything the trail throws at him alone. Oh, I almost slipped. He'll cover the ground with a 35 pound pack and a few extra pairs of shoes. About five, five or six pairs of shoes, if I had to guess. Wearing a new tread on the trail and himself. I don't think that I'll be the same person that I am today. I think I will, I think my life will change. A new silhouette carved from the face of the mountain that changed him. It's really shaped me in such a weird way that a, a mountain shouldn't be able to shape someone. It's, it's really made me who I am today and I'm the happiest I've ever been. So he is planning to set out on May 1st. That's three years to the day that he hiked Stone Mountain for the first time. He plans to finish by October and we are rooting him on. I mean, yes. this is an inspirational story. It's really incredible to see what he's done here and hopefully it motivates other people to, to test their limits and see what they can do. And I will say as a person who likes to get out in nature, it really is freeing. If you are stressed out, you need a break, you just go out there taking the deep, uh, fresh air and just stretch your legs and get a little bit of exercise too. All right, so hopefully we can get a check back in with him when he actually finishes and, and reaches that goal with hiking the Appalachian Trail. We're wishing him good luck for sure.